In the previous session, we demonstrated how to create and write to files using PHP. In this session, we take a look at how to read files using PHP. For purposes of demonstration, I've chosen a rather simple example, but I'm confident you can extend it to the broader applications. The idea is to confirm that a value sent to your CGI from a form is in a list of acceptable values. In this case, if the user's address city is in a list of acceptable departure cities, and the list is stored as a file on your server. In the next session, we create a CGI that combines reading, writing, and uploading files all in one CGI. Fun coming up! The best security and completeness checks of data being submitted by way of a form is done using JavaScript Submit Event Handlers on the form. But sometimes you need to confirm a value in a form somehow matches a value on your server, so the check has to be done on the server. Using the sign-up page for our hypothetical trip to Japan, we want to check if the user provided a city in their address portion that the city is in a list of allowed departure cities. So first, we need to have a file on the server containing the list of acceptable cities. We've called it cities, and it is composed of a series of lines, one for each city in our list. City names are spelled out all in lowercase, and the list is in ascending alphabetical order. So for example, here's a subset. Albuquerque, Atlanta, Augusta, Baltimore, on down to Walla Walla and Washington. Next, in our CGI, we start by declaring our variables. First, for the values we get from the form, then variables used in our work, including those for handling the first and last names, including variables used for emails and logging. And now we add a variable, say, dollar check city, to be the value in dollar city as all lowercase and no leading or trailing blanks. So we're sure we're comparing the same situation. Dollar check city equals string to lower of trim of dollar city. Then we're ready to see if our city is in the list of acceptable departure cities. So our logic looks something like this. Open the cities file and read each line into a variable, call it dollar work, until we're done. That is, we hit end of file. And then we say if dollar work equals dollar check city. So this is to see if we have a match. And if we do, then we can do our core work. If we've read the entire file and find no match, we'll build the reply page that tells the user they need to enter a different city and that they should use their browser's back button to retry with a different city. Well, to do this, we need some information about handling files in PHP, and we need to learn how to use a loop, repetitive process, to read every record in a file. So, PHP IO routines. We need to expand a bit on our knowledge of file handling using PHP. Opening files for read or write, like dollar stream name equals fopen of file name comma mode, and we've done that for writing, now we'll do it for reading. Reading data from input files, get the data into a variable, so we have a variable name equals fget s of stream name. Testing for end of file for an input file, feof of stream name, and closing files as before. F close stream name. The F open function syntax is F open of file name comma mode. File name is the name of your data file. Now we already know about the mode of lowercase a, which specifies the file is to be open for write appending to the end of any existing data. Also, if the file does not yet exist, then create it. And we'll continue to use that, use that for logging. For this program, we'll add the mode of lowercase r, which says open for reading only, starting at the beginning of the file, and if the file does not yet exist, create it. This last part sounds weird. How do you read from a file that doesn't exist? Anyway, for our program, the file name for our input file will be cities. 
Since it is found in our home directory and our PHP CGI is running from the CGI's directory, we'll need to specify the file name as dot dot slash cities. So we'll end up with this statement, dollar cities equals f open of quote dot dot slash cities quote comma lowercase r in quotes to open our cities file. Recall the open function returns a stream. A destination for your fwrite commands where you are writing to, and a source for your fgets commands where you are reading from. You choose the variable name to hold the data and use that name in subsequent function invocations. In our case, our stream is called $cities. The fgets function syntax fgets of stream name and the function returns data from the stream. Data is read until it encounters a new line string, backslash n, or the end of file. Now we normally put the data into a variable, and in our code we'll be using dollar $work for that variable name. So to get data from our city stream, we'll code this, dollar $work equals fgets of dollar $cities. So dollar $work will contain either the next line of data from our input file or the end of file indicator. We normally put our fgets gets logic inside a while loop that tests for the end of file indicator using the feof function. The feof function syntax is feof of stream name, where stream name is the name of the stream returned from the fopen. The function returns true if you're at end of file. So typically we'll see something like this. Dollar check city equals string to lower of trim of dollar city. Dollar cities equals f open of dot dot slash cities lowercase r. While not f e o f of dollar cities, that is, as long as there are records left to read, execute the statements in the braces. And now I say dollar work equals trim of f get s of dollar cities. And if dollar check city equals dollar work, then we're going to handle found city match. And when we're all done with this while loop, we're going to issue an F close for our file dollar cities. Uh oh, I see we've not discussed the while construct yet. Sign. Well, it's simple. Syntax is while parenthesis expression and what to do. On encountering the while statement, expression is evaluated. If it is false, control jumps to after the closing brace. If it is true, the code shown here is what to do is executed, and control jumps back to the while statement to evaluate expression again. The fclose function. The syntax is fclose in the name of the stream. So stream name is the variable holding the pointer to the open input or output stream and this disconnects the stream from the actual file. Let's look at how to structure the logic for reading the file looking for a match. You might start by setting up a variable, call it $CityMatch, initialized to false. Then if you find a match with a line in cities to the provided city, set $CityMatch to true. When you're done with city checking, F close the $Cities file, and then you have several options. First, you could set up an if statement such that if no match has been detected, you build a reply page that tells the user of the problem and then tells them to use their back button to try again. For example, here's our f open and here's our while loop. Notice that if there is a match, we set dollar city match to true. And when we're done with the while loop, we f close our city's file. Now we say if not city match. So if there wasn't a match, then I echo this page, sign up problem for the title, and the body says the city you specified is not one of our departure cities. Please use your back button and change your city. Else, and then in those braces, handle files, update databases, build response page. In other words, if it went well, you're going to do all that code. So the else part is likely to include a large chunk of code and keeping track of where the actual closing braces belongs might be a little tricky. Or, two, 
set up an if statement such that if no match was found, you set your reply page and then exit the program. If a match was found, you will simply fall through into the core work. Again, we open our cities, we have our while loop, and we close our cities stream once we're done with the while loop. And now we check if not city match, so we didn't find a match. Here's our page again, and please use your back button and change your city. And now I just say exit, retry process. And then if I fall through, that is if there was a match, I do everything else. I don't need an else clause here. A third option, you could set up an if statement such that if no match was found, you set your reply page and then jump to the end of the program. If a match was found, you will simply fall through into the core work, eventually getting to the end of the program. So again, here's our initial code, the same as we've seen before. And now we say if not dollar city match. And here's we're building our page. And after we say use your back button, then we say go to end routines. Now, we're going to do all of our code, the files, databases, response page, for a successful um, process, and then the echo ends the um, response page, whether it's successful or unsuccessful, and then there's our email, and then we can log the sign-up attempt, and we fall through to the end. So in this case, there is some common code, closing out the reply page, sending the email, logging the sign-up attempt. So we need to discuss exit, go to, and labels. The exit statement. The exit statement terminates the current PHP program. Syntax is exit with optionally some text. That is either exit semicolon, simply terminates the program, or exit parenthesis quote process terminated. That echoes that text and terminates the program. Note the text cannot be in a variable, it must be a literal. The go to statement. The go to statement transfers control to a point in the program designated by a label. Now a label is a case sensitive string followed by a colon. So the syntax is go to label. Now among long time programmers, go to is frowned upon because it can make your code into spaghetti code so twisted in logic you can't be sure it's correct. Now we can minimize these concerns by following the restrictions and making sure you only go to forward, that is only go to a label later in the code, never earlier. And the built-in restrictions are you cannot go to into a function, and you cannot go to out of a function, and you cannot go to into a loop or switch structure. However, you may go to out of a loop or switch structure. Use this sparingly. Another choice. All of the preceding coding alternatives work, but in each one, the CGI reads all the lines in the cities file. If there were hundreds or thousands of records and there was a match on the fourth record, we end up spending time reading records we don't care about. Here's a fourth choice. Similar structure, but in our while loop, if we find that dollar check city equals dollar work, we close cities uh, stream immediately and go to city found. Now we'll stay in that while loop otherwise until end of file if there was no city found and then fall through into our response page with the sign up problem. Then we F close dollar cities and exit. And then city found is the rest of the code. So this approach has the following advantages. There's no need for a flag variable dollar city match like we had before, and reading the city's file stops as soon as there is a match. Yet another choice. Now the prior approach has some advantages, but there is still one disadvantage. Since the list of cities is in alphabetical order, you can kick out with a no match condition as soon as a record from the city's file is greater than the city name we are searching on. So our fifth option is based on the previous one, except I have an additional if statement, and if dollar check city is less than dollar work, close the city's file and go to no match. And then we do the response page as before. 
So here's an additional advantage that we can detect a no-match situation sooner and avoid unnecessary file processing. Which option you go with might well depend on application-specific details, so it makes sense to understand each of these and choose the option that best meets your needs and that makes the most sense to you. So you've seen various ways to read files from your server. Later, you'll get the opportunity to use these techniques in wider applications. In this session, we discussed PHP functions to read files on your server, fopen, fgets, feof, and fclose. The while logical construct to stay in the loop until some condition changes, instructions that change the flow of logic in a PHP program, the exit and the go to, and labels to identify locations in a PHP program to use in the go to statement. Coming up, in the next session, we look at creating a new file on your server based on a starter or model file modified by data from a form in an HTML page. We'll read the model file, check if we need to update each record with any relevant data from the form, and write the possibly updated record to our new file until we've read the entire model file and created the new file. See you there. Music